is uh, also uh, with EXP on our RevShare team. And what we're going to share with you today is some of the early, pretty incredible results that Bill has had using our auction platform and our zero commission home selling program, uh, which is something that we offer to our uh, you know, people that we've partnered with, uh, with EXP. Um, and uh, and how you can get more information about uh, you know what that would look like, uh, how this could work in your business, and all of that as well. So, Bill is someone that um, we recently partnered with, uh, probably a month or two now. It's got to be two months now, Bill, right? Yeah, a couple months now. Okay, a couple months now. And so, what I want to unpack in this video, and and why you know you might be interested in this, is the results from the first couple of listings that Bill has taken and leveraged using this platform and how it has already created this really incredible sort of snowball effect for him and his business. And uh, we'll probably put this actual video, which is um, from an email that Bill sent us in January at this point, uh, outlining the results of his first auction and mega open house um, that we that we kind of married together to get not only to get uh, the, the listing that we're working with sold quickly for top dollar and for as little hassle as possible to the seller, but also then how we turn it into a ton of additional business opportunity. So here's the results from his first one. It was a for sale by owner, okay, for sale by owner, which by the way, this offer is phenomenal for getting uh, for sale by owners to raise their hand and want to work with you. Um, the full retail value was about 165. We listed it for uh, 123.9 as an opening bid. Had 40 plus realtors call me in the first week, uh, wanting more information and clarification and so forth. Uh, registered nine bidders before the open house. So without anyone actually seeing the home yet, had nine uh, registered bidders. Uh, they did a two-day open house, Bill and his team, from 10 to 5 each day. He had two receptionists, a lender himself, uh, and himself as an agent. Uh, a total of 180 plus visitors, and that's documented. 31 agents brought buyers to the open house, 21 solid buyers with agents, six apps, with buyers not represented by, by agents, okay, uh, additional opportunities. Nine registered bidders prior to the open house with another uh, five additional as of this morning, which was the Monday after, uh, et cetera. Three new listing appointments with sellers that had come into the open house, probably wondering like, what is going on here? Uh, and best of all, which we're gonna pick up on this story, three new uh, investors slash flipper leads that want to set a time to sit down and discuss the auction, uh, etc. One of them turned 19 homes last year using traditional real estate services from various realtors. So pretty amazing results, um, Bill, but what I, what's not in here, oh, actually it is, is how, you know, this has helped reignite your real estate business and real estate career, which is really, I mean, that's exciting and, and, um, you know, rewarding for us to play some little part in that. But the reality is, it was you who who took action, who implemented, um, and uh, you know, and took the, the platform and actually used it. Which uh, sadly, not everyone will do that um, as much as we'd like. So, why don't you talk to us about um, the the second one that you've had, and now the the sort of the additional ones that you're stacking up, thanks to what came from this first one? Yeah, well, first of all, I, you know, of course I was a little skeptical to start with when I first heard about this program, but uh, made a decision to dive into it 110%, and it's just been phenomenal, the results. Yeah. Um, my first auction has actually produced currently in the books now, which was, you know, that was in January when I did that first auction. Yep. Uh, I have... Four additional auction listings. I have one coming up this weekend. In the following two weeks, are already booked. Um, I have 
four buyers under contract contracts that not that were will be closing from that first auction and the, the new auction listings that I've taken two of them are from flippers and so there'll be many more coming down the pipeline from them so so this is at the time of this recording this is six or seven weeks after that auction and uh, I'm just confirming here it sounds like at least eight transaction sides uh, yes. in, in addition to to uh, actually getting that that's not even counting the fact that you, you sold that that first you know that initial listing using right. it between the, the additional auction listings and the additional buyers and I, I can see very quickly how this will will become exponential because you're getting better at doing these a and each one of them creates its own, um, you know, seven degrees of separation kind of thing where it leads to this, to this, to this, to this, to this. And so um, pretty incredible multipl multiplication of efforts by using this and, and getting you into conversation with so many different people and creating so many different opportunities. So... Um, what would you say to somebody who is like you? Maybe you know this is interesting, intriguing, but but you're skeptical. You know you don't you're not sure. Um... Well, I, I think the biggest thing is that no matter what you do, you have to give it 110 percent if you decide to do something. Yep. This process is not something that will just happen overnight. It does take work and a lot of planning and preparation to go into making sure that the success is just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, I feel very confident to be able to say there's no reason you shouldn't get five to eight sides from every single auction you do. And yeah, that, I mean, that, and, and that's, that's the way, way. The, the, the way we've started to look at this is not just can we get that one sold, but how much commission income can we generate from one? And setting that and, and seeing how, how high or how far you can push it because you, what, so what's the average commission in, in your market? Here in our market, the average sales price is around 225 Okay. Average. So let's say for so, just simplicity, let's say 200. You, you have taken one listing and turned it into eight, at least eight additional commissions. And even if it was the, the um, uh, let's say, again, take, say 200 and let's just say 6,000, let's say 5,000 in, in, in commission income from each of those. That's 40,000 from, a, that's additional, in addition to the actual commission on selling that property and... Um, I mean, that's pretty incredible, but it's also not unique for people using this platform if they do the work. Because here's the thing, it's not whether or not this works, it's whether you'll do the work. Because it is work. That's correct. It, it's, it's, that's not, correct. it's not easy. And, and, and Bill, I, I know I can say from my personal experience, um, what, what was it like the, the week or two leading up to that first auction? Very chaotic for me because I was constantly thinking of trying to, how is this all going to work? What are the comments going to be? And, yeah. and you know, the, the whole process does show that uh, the property is not on lockbox, which is a, a true difference in the real estate world today. Yeah. Yeah. And so I did put in my listing that I would make exceptions to the lockbox if a buyer wasn't able to attend for the weekend. So. I purposely met with about eight realtors that first auction in that first week. Okay. It's about a seven to eight day marketing period. And it gave me practice to talk to the talk to agents and talk to buyers. Yeah. So it kind of gave me some prep for how it might go on the first day of the auction. Right. And that was very beneficial for me. Yeah. Very and, and, and now having done a second one, and now getting ready for a third one, what is your comfort level with the process? Uh, very comfortable. Um, I've kind of, I've got one agent that since that first auction, I have one buyer's agent that just joined EXP and joined my team this last week. Right on. Um, so she's, she's helping me with uh, 
my previous option, my second one, and of course this one this weekend and all those coming forward. Uh, she's been an agent with EXP for basically 24 hours and we had our first listing appointment that she marketed uh, oh, wow. yesterday. Right on. Uh, so that, that's kind of cool for her. Yeah. The issue is you have to capitalize on the buyers and sellers that are coming through the front door. Yeah. The focus, you know, my first option was constantly talking to realtors and buyers and things of how the auction worked, the process, you know, what the buyer's premium was, you know, how this is different than a traditional listing. And I spent a lot of time in that first auction because I worked it myself. I did reach out to other agents, but nobody, I guess nobody believed that it would generate what it did. Right. And so I did have an agent working with me at that first auction. So, uh, but I've still done very well with yep. residual business off yep. of that. And, and so I've got things tailored now for my third auction that I'm using my wife who did all my proofreading and all my disclosures and everything. So she's very familiar with the auction process. Yeah. This next weekend, she is going to be the one that I will direct buyers and sellers and realtors to, to discuss the auction process. Beautiful. And greeting buyers yeah. and greeting sellers and talking about their needs and how I can help them. I'm going to defer that over to my wife yeah. and let her explain how it all works. Uh, that way I can focus and Lisa can focus on truly interviewing buyers and sellers yeah. and getting yeah. much more information of, you know, what they're looking for and how we can help them. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, when you have all the registration forms at the end of the day, uh, you don't have a lot of extra detail on those registration forms. Yeah. But you know, if you, if you know what people are looking for, what area, what their specifics are, it makes it much more personal follow up. Yeah, yeah, totally. So my, my personal experience is the first one for me was nerve wracking, right? It's something new, um, it's uncomfortable, you have doubts and fears about it, and you know what, it wasn't great. My first experience was not like yours, but my second one, A, I was much more comfortable with the process, and it was a knockout. We took a listing that had been uh, that had been try trying to sell for 16 months with three different real estate companies, and we got it sold in 17 days. Um, and so, uh, and had uh, I haven't had quite the amount of residual um, uh, opportunity as you, but but it's it, we have at least three other transactions that are in escrow thanks to that uh, that one, which also it happened a, a couple of weeks prior to yours in January. So. Um, you know, as with anything new or different, there's a learning curve. You're going to be a little bit uncomfortable. You're going to have doubts and fears. But when you do it and you take action, then you're better the next time and you're better the next one and you're better the next one. And the next thing you know, it's like a machine um, as Bill is experiencing. So here's the deal. If this is interesting to you, intriguing to you, you'd like more information um, and, and, and you want to, to grow a listing-centric business, we have got a model and a plan for you to do that. And if you would like to learn how you can partner with us and what that would look like and how we can help you have exponential growth, both in your personal production, but also build a referral base of other agents, both in your local market and outside of that, then below this video, you're going to find two things. Number one, you'll find a training class, a training class replay where you can get more information about this platform and how it works and why it works and why we've built it for our team with all everything that's changing rapidly in the real estate industry. And then number two, uh, you can schedule a call with whoever sent you this, uh, this little case study to get more information about what that would look like and, and how that works and how you can partner with us. Um, I would not schedule the call until after you check out the training class first so you have more context, uh, and then reach out and schedule that call. Bill, thank you so much for uh, hopping on here, for sharing your results, and, and, and most of all, for being an action taker, an implementer, 
Um, I can't see, I can't even imagine. So th this has been literally like two months already. I can't imagine what's going to happen over the a 12-month window with the yeah. way that you're building this snowball, this momentum with the platform. And now that we're even heading, you know, we're heading into the, the busier uh, time uh, of the year as well. So I'm really excited to see that and, and to hear about how that grows and to help and support you with that. Um, and uh, again, just thank you for your time. Be sure if you're interested to check out the, uh, the additional information below and uh, hopefully we'll talk with you real soon.